Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Uh, today, we're going to be doing uh, something fun. Uh, something fun in my opinion, at least. Uh, hold on. Sorry. The camera was, like, so dirty. Anyways, that's better. Uh, yeah, Monster High Collection. Uh, they really haven't made their debut onto the channel yet, so I thought, what a great way to, like, come back after my slumber than to introduce these girlies. I know I haven't been active for, like, a long time. Uh, I've just been, like, really busy with, like, school work and shit, like, before school starts, you know, as one does. But whatever it takes to become America's first Asian president. I'm just kidding. Anyways, these are the ghoulies. Uh, I thought, what better... What more appropriate timing to do this video than now? Because, obviously, uh, Generation 3 is coming out. I don't have any of Generation 2 because I think they're all ugly as hell. But I am holding out for Generation 3. I think... Well, maybe I'll do a video on this separately, but... Just like, just like um, an overall spiel, I think... Frankie's my favorite. Uh, I really love Draculaura, but I think Frankie and, uh, Laguna are my favorite, and then Cleo and, uh, Draculaura come in as close seconds. Uh, I'm not a big fan of how Claudine's looking right now. She kind of looks like a child, but I don't know. Maybe I'll need to see her in person. Anyways, so yeah, I thought, let me get these girls out of the way before I start adding everyone else. Uh, oh, oh, also, um, uh... I will also, I'm also, like, announcing a giveaway, a giveaway for Miss, oh, who is this? Uh, Busy BB. Uh, all you guys have to do is, um, comment down below, uh, whom, comment down below what your favorite ice cream flavor is, and then like the video, and then, yeah, um, if I get to 50 subscri subscribers, I'll be giving this one away. Uh, so yeah, you also have to be over 18 or at least have your parents' permission to, like, enter, because I'll need your address to send this over. But yeah, so now that that's out of the way, let's finally get to these girls. Let me just shut up and, like, just get to these girls. Okay, this is how I have them, and if you guys- oh, by the way, if you guys don't recognize- well, I don't want to show you the whole shelf, because I'm planning on, like, doing a room tour after this, but- this is where the uh, Rainbow High girls used to be, but, like, I figured since, like, a lot of Monster High dolls were coming out, and, like, I don't know, the luster on Rainbow High kind of just died for me, so I moved them, the Rainbow High girls, to where Monster High used to be, and then I moved Monster High to this shelf, because it has a lot more space where I could, like, start putting the Generation 3 girls. Anyways, let's get going. Okay, first... We're gonna start with Miss Claudine Wolf. Uh, this is the same Frankie Claudine. Uh, basic doll, plain doll. I don't really know why I got her. Oh, a lot of these dolls are no, actually most of these dolls are secondhand restoration dolls. So that's why they're like all just really random and like have no coordination. And like, honestly, I really feel like. Nothing towards half of them, because it was just buttoned in a lot, but yeah. Ugh, sorry. Claudine, say Frankie. Uh, I don't know. Her face is cute. I like her hair. Ugh, God damn, you guys. I'm sorry. Please, cancel me for that. Ugh. Uh, say Frankie Claudine. She didn't come with her sign thingy, but whatever. Uh, she's really... Her face is pretty. I think this is a really good screen screening for Claudine. But, yeah, that's about it. Uh, none of the, say, Frankie dolls really, like, stand out. Except maybe the Frankie, because I really like the blue, her blue hair. But, yeah. Mary Sopcoxy, of course, next to her cousin Abigail. Abominable. I'm kidding. Uh, this is also, she's really tall, you guys. She's, like, a six-footer in doll world. But, yeah. This is like Marisol, and she's very pretty. Uh, I thought I liked her face more, but now that I look at it like a lot, it, like I don't know, it's just kind of weird. 
weird and then abby you'll see like five more of her throughout the video but i don't know she's my she's always been my favorite i love her so much this is uh 13 wishes abby this one's so pretty except mine the lot i bought from like has a stain on her cheek i don't know if you can see it and like in the corner of her eye but she's still really pretty and then we have scariest claudine very pretty i wish this hair's the glue slippage on this hair on this doll's hair was absolutely insane like i had her soaking in oxyclean for like days and it's still not even it's like still very like it's yeah very disappointing but i don't know she looks fine now i guess and for whatever reason like monster hair high hair is so much harder to like deal with glue seepage than the ever after high dolls like i learned that over the past few days i was i was like restoring ever after high dolls but she's still really pretty uh twyla coffin bean she doesn't come with her coffee cup but this one's really pretty uh i've noticed like as i look at her more like her hair her head's just so giant for her body it's like she kind of looks like a bug but i still love twilight twilight's my favorite and i uh i actually got to talk to her voice actress who is also the voice actress of Gigi, and uh claudia and in ever after high she voices apple and cedar and she's so nice you guys she is the nicest person you'll ever meet and like she signed a few dolls for me it was amazing and she's actually like uh she moved on from well she might still be doing yeah she is still doing voice acting but she actually got um oh wait i don't know if that's confidential information never mind anyway she's really cool you guys and this doll is beautiful uh torla feel absolutely nothing towards this doll uh i don't know i like the episode which is why i got it but this doll in person is kind of ugly but her accessories are cute, like that little water bottle and the little ball she comes with. Venus McFly Trap. Uh, there are better Venus dolls, but this was just the one that came in a lot. I would have liked to gotten the original Venus, but the seller kind of like screwed me over that. I'm kidding. I don't know. Yeah, not really. Uh, the seller was really nice, you guys. He gave me, they gave me like a lot of stuff at a really good price, so yeah. Uh, I think this is music, uh, what do they, what do they call it? Like, boozik? No. <laughs> what is it? It's like the music festival one. Like, I don't know what Monster High World called it, but yeah. That's her. She still has really sh soft hair, although, who am I pointing at? Okay, really soft hair, although, it's like kind of glue at the root roots, but. I'm afraid to wash her, because if you guys watched Doll Addiction's video, when she tried to clean her Venus, like, the fuzzy, the flocked part of her shaved head, like, got all janked up, and I'm, like, not about to do that. Uh, art class Abby, my least favorite Abby. She's missing, oh, Venus is missing her, like, little lanyard thing, and she's missing her chainsaw, her, like, act, whatever she, like, used to make the ice sculpture, but this is, uh, Abby. Uh, not my favorite Abby, but again, whatever I could get out of the lot. Whatever I can do to get more Abbeys in my collection. Uh, Cleo, our Monster High's Lord and Savior, who reigns over the entire monster world. Uh, she's just so beautiful. Yeah. I really like this look on her, too. I love when they gave her, like, a teal color scheme, even though it was more Nefer's thing. I still think it looked amazing on Cleo. And I loved, like, the... I don't know, it's not even a bathing suit, but, like, just, like, the cover-ups. It's so cute. Elizabeth, uh, this Elizabeth only because I couldn't afford, uh, her original Elizabeth. But this one's still cute. I feel like it has a very different face from the original Elizabeth, though. Uh, her hair is super soft at the ends, but it's, like, blue at the top. And she looks exactly like, Cla uh, Jackie Laura. Like, I don't know how they got away with that, but. Cute, cute. Oh, that one. Skull Shores, uh, this was the Scarnival one, I think. Yeah. And then we have Gigi Grant. Beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous doll. Her face, she has one of my favorite faces, I believe. Yeah, it's just so cute and, like, the innocent 
doe-eyed look. And a little dimple on her chin. It kind of looks like E.C. Dawn dancer's face. No? Oh, she's got a little stain in her above her eyebrow. Hold on. I'm not a big fan of the hairstyle, though. Uh, it kind of is kind of a hindrance when I'm trying to display her. It kind of gets in the way. Come on. And it kind of looks like a... Oh, what do you call it? Like that vase. Like a... Yeah, like a vase. Very tall. But her outfit's super cute, you guys. Especially her shoes. They're like little elf pointy shoes. Jane Bulil from... Oh, what is it from? Ah, damn. Oh, um, Gloom and Bloom. This one is so pretty. This one, like... This is like a premium doll, you guys. Like, just the material on this. Like, it's so, like... I don't know, like, Asian... Like, the kind of fabric, like... Uh, like... Asian Chinese tradi traditional uh, garment garments are made or like Yeah, more like the Chinese ones not like really Japanese kimonos because it's more stiffer But like yeah that kind of material like I love it so much. Oops, don't move and then her skirt is all fur Yeah, she's so beautiful and her hair like I love how it's so straight and it's like pulled back on the side one of my favorite abbeys uh, Dotted gorgeous abbey although uh, you guys do you see this like, if you, like, look right into her eyes, does it look a little wonky to you guys? I don't know. She kind of looks a little cross-eyed to me, but she's still really pretty with the high pony and the beautiful dress. And then Gory and the cute little purse. Yeah. Is this that dead gorgeous Claudine? Or Donna the Dance Claudine? I don't know. But whoever I bought this from, like, scammed the hell out of me with the this doll because I didn't realize she didn't have the leggings. And they still charged, like, an astronomical price for her, but I still wanted her. Uh, this one's one of my favorite Claudines. Uh, I have a lot of Claudines, you guys, and for, like, being one of my least favorite characters, like, I have a lot of her. Actually, half of this collection is mainly comprised of Claudines. But, I don't know, she just had really good dolls. And it's not like I don't like the character, it's just like my least favorite out of my favorites, you know what I mean? But anyways, this is a gorgeous doll, like this, like this, I don't know, crocodile skin? I don't know. Like just the leathery, like, tight-fitted suit, it's so gorgeous. And the purple and the green, I always loved when they gave her green and purple color schemes. I just think it suited her so well. Freak to shake, Frankie. Uh, I thought... I would like this doll better. Although she has amazing boots. You guys can't really see it. But she has amazing boots. I don't know. Maybe I just need to like. Restore her. Yeah. 13 Wishes Claudine. My favorite Claudine. Well. Yeah maybe my fa Yeah my favorite Claudine. Uh, this one is so gorgeous. Like, the gold and the gown. Please, we needed more dolls with gowns. I mean, like, we got it with Ever After High. I mean, well, they're, like, fairy tale based but... I don't know, I just wish we got it with them. But anyways, Claudine, Touching Wish is so... Beautiful. So freaking good, you guys. Uh, sorry. I just binge ate, like, a bunch of chips, so... I'm kind of... Yeah. <sighs> How many more do we have? God damn. Uh, Katie Noir, see you guys. These videos drain the life out of me. But I do it for you guys. By the way, thank you guys for like 800 views on my collection video and like 350 views on my sweet stall. Like that one. Like I thought that was one of the most boringest videos I ever like made, but I guess you guys liked it. So thank you guys very much. Anyways, Katty Noir. Uh. The Ari doll. The Ari of the Monster High world. Her hair came so frizzy. And this was new in the box. But her hair came so frizzy. And I had to like comb it out. And it was like so poor. So like. I don't know. I just. Maybe I should wash it. Yeah. But she's still so pretty. And I love the skin. It's giving Chanel. Yeah. It's giving a lot of Chanel. Because of the high pony too. Yeah. 
Hold on, I thought I heard something. Anyways, uh, Mon Mon Monsteristas Spectra, yeah. Uh, I this is one of my favorite Spectra dolls, mainly because her hair is burgundy. Like I think that looks so good on her. It's such a sophisticated like look for her. I love it. Although the outfit's way too basic, and those shoes are not her shoes. I had to like. I bought her without her shoes, and I just like put random shoes that like kind of matched the straps. <sighs> I cannot, for the life of me, remember what this line was called, but I don't know. Rockstar Claudine. Uh, the all purple hair was a power move, you guys, and it was a good one at that because I think this looks so good on her. She looks so fierce. Although I'm not really for the outfit, like the fur crop is kind of weird. But her face and her hair is so pretty. Skull Shores Laguna. This used to be my sister's before she, like, hated dolls again. So I got her. But this is her. Very pretty, you guys. Over, like, the past few years, with all, like, the Monster High, like, announcement and stuff, Laguna has, like, climbed her way to my top favorite characters. I don't know why, because Laguna actually used to be my least favorite character, but now she's, like, up there. And I'm getting a doll signed by her voice actress, Laura Bailey, which is so freaking expensive, but I don't know. It's worth it. I love her. And I might get the Honka Chore Laguna, too. I don't know. Pretend. Depending on how broke I get with, like, the new generation. Three dolls and the Shadow High dolls. Uh, Claudine. Oh. Freak to Chic. And another amazing Claudine, although... Uh, hmm. It's a little funny how they changed her skin tone, but not everyone else's. Okay, you guys. I, like, um, <laughs> totally just, like, paused the video and took a nap. Like, a three-hour nap. And went to Target with my sister. I, I don't know, you guys. Like, filming this video. Like, even just these girls up here. It was, like, wearing me out. Like, whenever I do these longer type videos... And I'm just, like, standing here, pointing my camera at different dolls and, like, talking a lot. I don't know. It's just, like, so draining for me. So I had to take the little intermission, but now I'm all fueled up and, like, recharged so we can get right back into these ghoulies. So anyways, I believe we were at, uh, um, Freak de Chic Claudine. Uh, gorgeous doll, but yeah, the skin tone. I mean, it looks great on her, but, you know, the, uh, ideal behind it is, like, not... Not something I vibe to. But I actually... Okay, I know I keep on, like, contradicting myself, but this is the last time. I think the... I like the paler skin. Because I think it brings out her eyes so nicely. Like, I actually never realized her eyes were yellow until, like, it was, like... It popped against, like, the paler skin color. And I think it looks so good. And I also love, like, the washed-out kind of, like, purple color to her. I think it's such a pretty, like... Color. It's kind of like pastel. I mean, the whole black and white stripe theme. Ugh, my sister's really loud. Yeah, she's just such a beautiful doll. Abby. Abby. Yes. This is, uh... This is from the Ghoul's Rule movie, but I know the line that it was released in isn't called Ghoul's Rule. I think it was called, like, I don't know. But this one's in my collection. This one's my favorite Abby. But, like, obviously the OG Abby is my favorite, but I don't have it right now. But, yeah. This is my the fa my favorite one I have right now. I think she's so gorgeous. She's so cute and she's so snowy and soft. It's so good. The little arm, like, the arm for the cuffs... And the little hat. And though it's just like the way her hair is parted, I think it's so beautiful. Uh, 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 uh Skull Shores Claudine. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on with the top underneath her, like, here. The top underneath, uh, her little cover up. But, like, it just won't go over her breast. And, like, now her, like, nips are forever slipping out. But, Maybe I'll just rubber band it back to the top, but honestly, since the cover-up, like, from far away, you can't notice it. I think it's fine for right now. But I love this Claudine, too. Like, 
the straight straight hair Claudine, like it's so beautiful, especially like the all purple colors. And then the streak of green, I think this is so beautiful. And her, she also has my favorite Claudine makeup look. Yeah. My favorite Claudine makeup look. She just looks so good. And this cover up is so amazing too. I think she's my favorite Skull Shores doll. Uh, Creep Production Draculaura. My only Draculaura doll. Oh, no, wait, that's a lie. I have a signed Dracula doll in the box. Uh, ugh. Ugh, guys. I, like, ate those chips hours ago, and I'm still, like, burping it up. But anyways. I don't know, you guys. I used to, like, hate on all Dracula dolls, but I got this one in person, and now she's, like one of my favorites like just like holding her she's so fun to hold and her hair's so soft but my bangs were wonky like whoever bought this i bought this from like also scammed the hell out of me because a like the picture they had on the listing it was i bought it on ebay i bought all of the creep production dolls you guys uh for inflated prices which i'm like kicking myself over but like it was the only way i can get them since i could not find them anywhere else but yeah and, like, they were limited dolls, so I didn't want to miss the chance. I still don't have Claudine. I don't know if I'll get Claudine, because, I don't know. Her, like, original doll isn't my favorite, but I don't know. I feel like if the right price comes to me, I'll get it. But, anyways, Cla uh, Dracula, whoever I bought it from, like, they posted a picture of a nice box, which was obviously not theirs, because when I got it, there was no box, you guys. It was totaled. Totaled. But anyway, she's still very pretty. Very, but like, when it got destroyed, her bangs got all messed up. So like, now it's like that. I need to fix it, but she's still really cute. And Count Fabulous. Like her, like the paint strokes on Count Fabulous are all like jacked up. But I don't know. She's still really pretty. I love this corset. And like the little lacing. She's so gorgeous. Frankie. Oof. Another one of my favorites. I guess all three of these crew productions are really good. But I love Frankie. Her style is this her style is what I vibe most with. Like, you know, that emo gothic but like schoolgirl kind of look. I don't know. She's so pretty. And I love the generation three uh Frankie so much. Like I think the face is so pretty. It's not as good as the one we got in like the prototypes. None of the faces are are as good as the prototypes, in my opinion, because I thought the prototypes were really good. Except Dracula. I think Dracula got a better face in the final product, but... And, uh, Frankie's also great in the Generation 3. Which, I don't know how to feel about that. Maybe I'll have to see her in person, but she kind of looks a little sickly with that color. But this is a creep production. Yeah, I'm like totally like taking all the luster out of this Frankie by talking about the other one. But this is uh, OG Frankie, the one and only Queen Bee. Who, uh, you know, ends all. This, uh, what's it? So cute. Oh, by the way, the Generation 3 pets, you guys, like what the hell? They're like, okay, only Count Fabulous stayed and even he looks ugly. Watsy didn't even say. They didn't even... They, like, renamed the dog Watsy. Like, what the hell, you guys? Literally just add the T and we have Watsy. Like, I don't know why they changed everyone's. Except Dracula's. The His set, you guys. I loved his set so much. <sighs> God damn. Anyways. Laguna Blue. They... Uh, Laguna's not even the same person in the reboot, you guys. Uh, she's, like, pink now. Which, honestly, honestly, you guys, in hind, in, like, I, I think it's a beautiful doll, and I love the design, like, the pastel colors. And, like, I feel like she has such, like, her face is the closest to, like, the original dolls, but, I don't know. It's just so different from Laguna's, like, she's not even there. I feel like they should have just made the rebooted Laguna, like, it's their own character. 
But this is Laguna. Last time we'll ever see her like this. Oh, well, Hong Couture, but yeah. I love this doll so much. I actually, when I was younger, I actually never realized this was a hood. I know that's such a random fact, but yeah. I was just so surprised when I saw that. She's so gorgeous, you guys. And there's Neptuna. <laughs> you guys know Neptuna died, right? In the Hong Couture doll. Like, it's all, it's like, uh, fish bones in her purse. <laughs> Crazy Laguna. Uh, Cleo. Picture day Cleo. This one's a very pretty, this one. Oh. Damn. Uh, I think I like this Cleo better than like the original Cleo. Like just, again you guys, like the teal colors in her hair. It looks so good on her. Oh, she has a giant knot in, the, knot in, like, the back of her head. Maybe I should, like, wash this one, too. But she's gorgeous. Oh, we're on our final stretch, you guys. Finally. Uh, Skelita. Skelita Calaveras. This one is... It's carnival. And this one's so pretty, you guys. I... If there's anything I love more than, like... A Chinese New Year doll is a Day of the Dead doll, and this one came to serve. Speaking of Day of the Dead, have you guys seen the new Day of the Dead, like Rainbow High, Rainbow High drop? I mean, I think it's gorgeous. Like her pieces, her dress is amazing, and her hat, the big hat, it's phenomenal. And the headpiece, you guys, like I'm literally gonna have to buy two just to put one with the headpiece and one with the hat. But it's just so gorgeous, and uh, the outfit and like the hat remind me of La Muerte from uh, Book of Life, which is why I also really like the doll, because I was so sad we never got a La Muerte doll. But anyways, uh, the Rainbow High uh, Day of the Dead doll is gorgeous. I just don't like the hair color. I mean, not that I don't like it, I just think it should have just been like black with like streaks of color in her, like Skeleta. But yeah, anyways. Scarnival Skeleta, she's one of my favorite dolls. Actually, hmm, let me step back. Probably top three. Well, not including the crew productions, because those are, like, untouchable, and, like, nobody stands a chance against them. But Skeleta, Claudine, Skeleta, Claudine, and... Kai are my favorites that I have right now. Yeah. Yeah, she's just really good, you guys. If you don't have a Skeleta, like, get yourself a Skeleta, please. Please. You will not regret it. Oh, by the way, these dumb, dumb, stupid ass stands, you guys. Monster High stands go for like $10 a piece because that makes sense for whatever reason. But these stands are the only thing I could get for a reasonable, like, price and they're terrible i mean they get the job done but like this part is always like either bending this way or bending that way and they always like you gotta balance the doll itself in order to stand like straight and also this part is so chunky and so huge like look at this one and then look at that one like it takes up way too much space i could fit like right now i have like about nine or ten on each uh level come on focus and, like, I could literally have, like, 15 on each level if they weren't so damn big. Anyways, I mean, but, like, you gotta work with what you got. And shit, yeah. Uh, Rebecca. This one is a beautiful doll, too. Like, I love the overalls and the puffy, like, just, like, the steampunk. Like, and she's got the moving wheels. She's gorgeous. Oh, you guys see that? She's like, they're all getting a little dusty. But she was, like, one of the first, like, restorations that, like, I feel like succeeded 100%. Because, like, I restore, like, a lot of these dolls, but, like, they don't, they're not, like, 100%. But I feel like this is the only one that got to 100% because her hair is so soft and, like, it used to be so gluey, but now it's so good. But anyway, she's so pretty. And her face is amazing, too. I like that. That all the extra added details, like the bolts, like they went crazy with this doll, you guys. I really hope she's in Generation 3. I really hope Abby's in Generation 3, which I'm pretty sure she is. I know Twyla's in Generation 3. I really wish Rochelle's in Generation 3. 
Uh, Ghoulie is in the live action movie. Did that? Does that mean we're gonna get a Ghoulie Generation Three doll? Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, there are just a lot. I wish they would keep. I wish they would keep everyone, for that matter. But you know, I don't know why they get rid of some characters. But yeah. Anyways, that's it for this shelf. Uh, the only other Monster High, uh, like, stuff I have are, like, my autographed Monster High dolls. Uh, do you guys, like, want to see that quickly? Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, this one, I just have, like, they're all stacked behind here. And as, like, I get more, uh, Monster High dolls from Generation 3, this, these are just gonna move down. And these are just gonna move somewhere around my room. But yeah, I'm hoping this will be, like, a Mattel shelf. Where, like, everything is just consumed by Mattel dolls. Except Barbie, because those are ugly as hell. But those ugly white bitches. But anyways. Here, I'll turn you guys like this. Uh, Twilight doll signed by her by voice actress John Cope Good. Mouse stayed. Are you guys, like, throwing up? I'm sorry. I'm, like, moving the camera at a vigorous rate. Uh, Mouse Sadie's signed by Rachel... Stamen? Yeah, she really cool. I like, if you guys want, I'll like go into more depths about my autographed dolls and like stories and like how I got them and what they say if you guys want. So if that's like something you're interested in, just comment. This is not a Monster High doll. Uh, oh, this is a Frankie doll that's like unboxed because I'm getting her box signed by Kate Higgins, who's her voice actress. Uh, this is Draculaura signed by Debbie Derryberry. Gulia Yelp, signed by Adu pa Adu Padding you. This is not signed. And then there's one more back here. Oh. Hold on. We have to take some of these down. What else did I take these? Okay. And then there's one more signed by uh, Junko Good again, who voiced Gigi. Uh, yeah, if you guys want me to go into more depths about my, like, autograph collection, like, I have a bunch more. I have a bunch of Ever After High dolls, like a lot more Ever After High dolls than I have Monster High dolls signed. And I have just like a bunch of other random dolls signed, like that, uh, that, uh, uh what's her name? Isabella signed by Diane Guerrero. So if that's something like you guys want to see, just let me know. Here, let me just put all these back. Oh, I also have one more sandal. Yeah, I'll show you that if, like, you guys want to see it. But it's just signed by Aaron Fitzgerald, who plays, like, Abby. But yeah, that guys, that's, like, everything from Monster High. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for coming along with me in this very long and excruciating journey. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm, like, sitting down. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but... Yeah, uh, let me know which one you think is your favorite that I have in that I have in my collection, and which one is your favorite from your collection. Oh, and also, you guys, don't forget to enter the competition because this is a very marvelous and gorgeous doll, and I would hate for it to not go to a better and happier home. So yeah, uh, just comment on the video, like it, share it if you can possibly, and once we get to fifty, like she's all yours. I like randomly pick one of you guys from the comments and I will s get in touch with you and send her off. Oh, also uh, in the comment, leave your Instagram handle so I can like contact you there. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, you guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for spending like, what is it? Like 35 minutes out of your day with me. Like I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the views I got on the other video, and I hope you guys are ha have and will always have a wonderful day. I hope your collection grows to an enormous amount, and I hope nothing but good stuff happens to you. Bye!